And next we have uh, consider appointments to the Board of Review for the term beginning January 1st, 2023, ending December 31st, 2024. We have Darren Kratz, our assessing director. Uh, good evening, thank you for your time. Um, just a little background on these these two appointments. This is something that we've never had here at the board uh, at the township. We've never had alternate board of review members. Um, we've only just had the three, and and it's worked out really really well. Um, but I think we're at a point in time now with having come through COVID and and family vacations and different things like that that it's it's time that we explore uh, appointing two alternate board members. Um, and and so I, I sat down with uh, Supervisor Walsh and we, we kind of went over it and agreed that now is a good time to go you know go forward with this uh, so that we don't end up in a situation where we have a board of review like we do tomorrow and tomorrow morning we get calls from two of our board members that say hey we're sick we can't come in and then we got a whole you know whole host of other issues um, to deal with so uh, I think it's a it's a good a good time to move forward with. Um, appointing two alternative board members um believe it or not when we advertised for this i was just hoping to get one good <laughs> candidate and uh and we actually had four really really qualified individuals um and so that you know that made this process a little bit more difficult we had to do some interviewing and, and sit down and, and talk to the folks and and i think after the interviews were done we ended up with uh two exceptional candidates um, um, you know, the first candidate is, is Mike Wilson. Uh, the second candidate is Donald Barnes, the, uh, the third, um, both of which I think are going to, um, if appointed tonight, uh, serve the township really, really well. Um, you know, our board of review, I take pride in our board of review, and I think we have probably one of the best boards of review in the entire state of Michigan. Um, both with experience as, as duration on the board and um, experience, practical experience being realtors and, and uh, uh, builders and developers and that kind of thing. Uh, both of these gentlemen fall, uh, fall into those parameters. Uh, they both have real estate experience. Um, uh, they both have development experience, although it's a little bit limited on, on that part, but um, they both have exceptional knowledge of, of the township as far as real estate values and, and things like that. So, um, but I think more importantly uh, than that, or as important as, as, as that, they have the temperament um, that I feel is necessary to sit on the Board of Review. They're both very um, uh, reserved, not reserved, but laid back. You know, they're not gonna get aggressive if, they have somebody who's a little, a uh, little aggressive at the board of review, and and I think our current board members have that, and I think these two have that as well, and and I think in from my experience that's that's a, a key or a critical uh, characteristic to have if you're going to be sitting on the the board of review. So, um, you know, with that I can I can answer any questions that you may have, um, comments. Um, if not, I guess I'd look for a motion. <laughs> I did have some fun, actually. You pointed out that you were hoping just for one. At one of our um, township supervisor meetings, they were already surprised we had, what, 12 for the ZBA vacancy. And I told them we had four for this, and they, they don't even get one resident reaching out to sometimes. So we are blessed. We have a brain trust here. The residents here have such a, a depth of knowledge in every area, and they're willing to serve. Yeah. So this truly is, it says a lot. When you say you have the best board of review, I truly believe our residents yeah. are the best out there. Yeah, and, I, and, and these two gentlemen, when you, when you sit down and you, you, you talk to them, you'll, you'll be able to pick up on that right away. I mean, this may be a stepping stone board for them, although I can't believe that, um, <laughs> for, for wanting to serve on, a, on an additional board somewhere, or maybe even the board of trustees at some point, or, or whatever the case may be. But um, there's definitely a desire oh, uh, amongst these two gentlemen to not just stop at the, the board of review, but you know continue on at some point, so. And we're lucky we have 
proof of that here. We yep. have a gentleman who is our treasurer now, but what do you have, 25 or 35 Almost years? 30. Almost 30 years of experience on the different boards here. So, so yeah, Brian, Brian's very familiar with the, yeah. the process. and the Well, I will say I've had the opportunity to meet the candidates, and they seem extremely qualified. And like Darren said, it's not just having the knowledge, but it's also, um, I won't use the word aggressive. I'll say that people are passionate in terms of their appeals, and you need to be, be tempered and listen to them. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, some of them are, are quite novel, and, and they're interesting, and um, sometimes they pan out, and sometimes you do what you can do, and then you still say you have the right to appeal before the state. Um, so, and Dirk represents us well bef with the state and the tax tribunal. Um, so, I, I, and I think it's wise to have backups, yeah. if nothing else, just to be able to have more continuity and have, you know, as transition occurs on that board and every board, um, they have people who are ready and willing and able to step in. So I, I think that's Yeah, so, so my intention is to, if they're approved tonight, my intention is to have them um, sit through the board review tomorrow, which tomorrow is just a, you know, a real brief one. Um, but then in March, um, uh, I'm going to leave it up to them, but, you know, I'd like them to at least sit through a day, um, you know, so that they can get a feel for kind of how the board operates, what our procedures and best practices are and, and so forth. So um, it, it, it is, I think it will be a, a situation where in the future we're gonna have some turnover on the board, um, you know, and, and I, think it's, um, I think it's prudent to, to get, you know, to get that kind of that transition, if you will, make sure these guys are familiar with the way it works and how we do things. I look for a motion. So moved. Motion by Treasurer Keeps. Support. Support by Trustee Burnett. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Well, thank you thank very you. much. That thank does you. Pass.